Have you ever wondered why so many child stars seem to struggle later in life? It's a question that has intrigued many, sparking numerous debates and discussions throughout the years. The truth is, the world of child stardom is one that often comes with a hefty price tag. It's a unique experience being thrust into the spotlight at a young age. Suddenly these children are living lives that are far from ordinary. Every move they make is scrutinized, every mistake magnified. The pressure to maintain a squeaky clean image, to continually perform at a high level in an industry that is notoriously demanding, is immense. Moreover, these young stars are robbed of the quintessential experiences that shape a normal childhood. The simple pleasures of playdates and sleepovers are replaced with scripts, rehearsals, and press junkets. School is often put on the back burner, the focus shifting instead to auditions and acting gigs. This skewed version of reality can warp their understanding of the world and their place in it, making it difficult to relate to their peers and form genuine connections. And then there's the matter of transitioning to adult roles. As these child stars grow up, they're expected to seamlessly navigate the shift from family-friendly fare to more mature projects, but the industry is not always forgiving. Some make the leap successfully, but others find themselves typecast, their early success a double-edged sword that limits their opportunities. These challenges can take a toll, leading to a host of problems, from substance abuse to legal issues, from mental health struggles to career stagnation. It's a pattern we've seen play out time and again, a grim testament to the pitfalls that can accompany early fame. One of the most well-known examples of this phenomenon is Lindsay Lohan. Lohan's story is a stark reminder of the harsh realities that often lurk behind the glitz and glamour of child stardom. Her journey, marked by highs and lows, success and struggles, serves as a cautionary tale, a window into the complex world of child stars. Lindsay Lohan, a name synonymous with both fame and controversy, started her career at a very young age. Born in New York City, Lindsay D. Lohan was the eldest of four siblings in a family that was no stranger to the spotlight. Her mother Dina was a former Radio City Rockette and her father Michael, a Wall Street trader with his own share of public struggles. Lindsay's journey to stardom began when she was signed by Ford Models at the tender age of three. She spent her early years gracing the covers of advertisements and campaigns for brands like Calvin Klein and Pizza Hut. However, it was her breakout role in Walt Disney's remake of The Parent Trap at just 11 years old that catapulted her into the limelight. Her charming portrayal of estranged twins Annie and Hallie endeared her to audiences worldwide and carved a clear path to stardom. From there, Lindsay's rise was meteoric. She became a household name, a regular fixture on red carpets, and the face on countless magazine covers. She starred in a slew of hits including Freaky Friday, Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, and the pop culture phenomenon, Mean Girls. With each role, Lindsay proved herself to be a versatile actress with a knack for both comedy and drama, her talent undeniable. However, fame at such a young age proved to be a double-edged sword. The constant scrutiny, the pressure to maintain her image and the lack of a normal childhood took its toll. The world watched as the sweet-faced child star grew into a teenager navigating the pitfalls of fame. In the midst of her rapid ascent, Lindsay's personal life began making headlines. Parties, late nights, and rumors of substance abuse started to overshadow her professional triumphs. The young starlet, once praised for her talent and potential, was now making news for all the wrong reasons. However, this early success would soon be overshadowed by personal struggles. As Lindsay entered her late teens, her personal life started to unravel. The child star, who once charmed audiences with her red hair and freckles, began to grapple with a darker side of fame. Lindsay's initial troubles began to surface in the public eye around the mid-2000s. She was often captured by paparazzi in compromising situations, her name becoming more synonymous with tabloid fodder than her acting roles. These incidents were not just mere teenage rebellion, they were cries for help that were largely ignored by those around her. In 2007, Lindsay experienced her first run-ins with the law. She was arrested twice within two months for DUI and possession of cocaine. These arrests led to her first stints in rehab, her name splashed across news headlines, and her once promising career starting to falter. Her legal troubles and erratic behavior began to affect her work. Movie sets became battlegrounds. Co-stars and directors lamented about her unreliability and unprofessionalism. The girl who once stole America's heart in The Parent Trap was now a liability. Her public image took a severe hit. She was no longer the lovable redhead, but a troubled young woman spiraling out of control. The media painted her as the poster child for child star gone wrong, 
an image that was hard to shake off. Her career and personal life continued on this downward trajectory. The more she tried to climb back, the harder she fell. Her struggles with addiction became a vicious cycle as she went in and out of rehab multiple times. During this time, Lindsay was not just battling addiction but also fighting to reclaim her life and career. She desperately tried to regain control but the weight of her issues proved to be too heavy. Sadly, this was just the beginning of Lindsay's struggles. The downfall of Lindsay Lohan was not an overnight occurrence. It was a slow, agonizing process that played out in the public eye, a grim reminder of the perils of early fame. This chapter in her life served as a stark contrast to her early days of success, marking the beginning of a long, tumultuous journey. Despite her attempts to get her life back on track, Lindsay's struggles persisted. The road to recovery was far from smooth. Throughout her 20s, Lindsay found herself in a constant tug of war with her addictions. The legal issues that followed were a public testament to the battles she was fighting privately. Lindsay's struggles were not confined to her personal life. They had a profound effect on her career too. Like a domino effect, one by one, the opportunities started dwindling. A promising career that once seemed unstoppable now appeared to be hanging by a thread. She lost roles, some even at the 11th hour, due to her unpredictable behavior and inability to commit to the demands of a professional film set. There were times when Lindsay was more known for her court appearances than her acting credits. A young woman who once graced the red carpets of Hollywood's most prestigious events was now making headlines for all the wrong reasons. Her repeated stints in rehab became a staple in tabloid news, overshadowing her talent and potential. The impact of her struggles extended beyond her career, it seeped into her relationships within the industry. Colleagues grew wary, friendships strained and professional relationships took a hit. The trust that is essential in the showbiz industry began to erode. The industry that had once embraced her as a prodigy was now hesitant to stake their projects on her. Yet Lindsay's struggles were more than just tabloid fodder or a cautionary tale. They were a reflection of a very real and very personal battle with addiction. A battle millions fight every day. Her story served as a stark reminder of how fame, fortune and success are no shields against personal demons. The once promising star seemed to be on a downward spiral. But as we know, the darkest hour is just before the dawn. Stay tuned as we delve into Lindsay's attempts to rise from the ashes in the next segment. Lindsay has made many attempts to revitalize her career, but personal issues continued to hinder her progress. The year 2012 saw her portray the iconic Elizabeth Taylor in the made-for-television movie Liz and Dick. The performance was meant to be a triumphant return, but it was met with scathing reviews, further chipping away at her once promising career. Following Liz and Dick, Lindsay starred in the indie film The Canyons in 2013, hoping that a shift to more serious roles would help her regain her footing in Hollywood. But again, her performance didn't manage to impress the critics, and the film was largely panned. While trying to revamp her career, Lindsay's personal struggles remained a constant obstacle. Her battles with addiction were far from over. She made numerous trips to rehab, each time promising herself and the world that she was ready to change. But the road to recovery is long and winding, and Lindsay's journey was no different. Her legal issues also continued to pile up, providing constant fodder for tabloids and late-night comedy shows. The public scrutiny was relentless, and Lindsay often found herself in the eye of the storm, Every misstep, every relapse was heavily scrutinized and mocked, making her personal battles even more challenging. Despite the setbacks, Lindsay continued to fight, attempting to salvage her career and personal life. She even tried her hand at entrepreneurship, opening a nightclub in Greece and launching a beauty brand. But these ventures too were plagued by missteps and controversies. Amid all this, Lindsay's resilience stands out. She has weathered storms that would have broken many, and despite the odds, she keeps trying to move forward. But the weight of her past, the mistakes and the controversies, continue to cast a long shadow over her present. Despite her best efforts, Lindsay could not escape her past. But one can't help but admire her determination to rebuild, to make a comeback, to rise from the ashes. Her story is far from over, and only time will tell what the next chapter holds for Lindsay Lohan. In recent years, Lindsay has made strides towards rebuilding her life. After a whirlwind of personal and legal challenges, she has found a new start, thousands of miles away from the Hollywood spotlight in Dubai. This move, drastic as it is, is a testament to her commitment to change, to leave behind the tumultuous past and create a future that's not dictated by addiction or public scrutiny. 
Here in Dubai, Lindsay has thrown herself into business ventures, trading the silver screen for the glitz and glamour of the club scene. Her clubs, aptly named Lohan Nightclub in Athens and Lohan Beach House in Mykonos, are her latest endeavors. While these ventures have had their ups and downs, they represent Lindsay's tenacious spirit, her refusal to be boxed into the narrative of a fallen star. But Lindsay's journey of reinvention doesn't stop at entrepreneurship. In 2023, she returned to the screen, not as an actress, but as the star of her own reality TV show, Lindsay Lohan's Beach Club. The show, detailing the operations and drama behind her Mykonos Club, offers a glimpse into Lindsay's new life, a life that she's built from the ground up. And at the core of this new chapter is Lindsay's ongoing battle with sobriety. She has spoken candidly about this struggle, about the daily effort it takes to maintain her sobriety. She's shown us that rebuilding one's life is not a linear process, it's filled with highs and lows, triumphs and setbacks. But through it all, Lindsay remains committed to her journey of personal growth. Her current status may be far from the Hollywood A-list, but that doesn't make it any less significant. Lindsay's journey is a testament to the struggles many child stars face, but it also shows that it's never too late to change. Her story is a powerful reminder that we are not defined by our past, but by how we choose to rise from it. Um, so what can we learn from Lindsay Lohan's story? Lindsay's journey, as tumultuous as it has been, serves as a stark reminder of the perils of catapulting into fame at a tender age. The glare of the spotlight, the relentless scrutiny, and the immense pressure to perform can be overwhelming, particularly for a young mind still navigating the world. Lindsay's story underscores the crucial role of a robust support system. As we've seen, her struggles were often exacerbated by the lack of consistent positive guidance. A strong support network can serve as a buffer, helping young stars navigate the minefield of fame while providing emotional stability and a sense of normalcy. The world of showbiz is not just glitz and glamour, it's a high-pressure environment that can easily lead to an unhealthy lifestyle. Substance abuse, as in Lindsay's case, is often a misguided attempt to cope with the relentless demands and pressures. It's a cautionary tale about the need for mental health support and addiction awareness in the industry. In discussing Lindsay's struggles, it's essential to approach with understanding and compassion. Too often child stars are subjected to a harsh public judgment that disregards their humanity. They're not just performers on a stage, they're individuals grappling with real-life issues, often under the harsh glare of the public eye. Finally, Lindsay's story is a testament to resilience. Despite the numerous setbacks, she has continually strived to rebuild her life. It's a reminder that everyone, no matter how far they've fallen, deserves a chance at redemption. Lindsay Lohan's story is a stark reminder of the human cost of fame, especially for those who achieve it at a young age. It serves as a call to action for the industry, the media and the public to treat child stars with the understanding and compassion they deserve and to provide the support they need to navigate their unique challenges.